Hey there, students. Um, I just wanted to share with you if your teacher's assigning an interactive student edition or an ISE, um, how you navigate that and successfully turn it in. So once you're logged in um, to your Think Central account, you'll click on Things to Do. There'll be some notes here. Click on it. Assignment details. Your teacher might have some specific instructions. Click on it. All right, let me scooch my How screen. can you use a number line to skip count and find how many in all? All right. So one important thing within the Interactive Student Edition is it's helping you kind of do um, a teaching and then a, like, we do and then you do on your own. So that's kind of the structure of these dots, okay? So wait for it to be highlighted until you click Next in this case, start, okay? You can pause it at any time. See the three birds' nests on that cactus? Click a nest to find out how many eggs there are. So you can see that's highlighted. You would click. Wow, there are five eggs in each. Okay, so then you'll eventually see this arrow highlighted, and you would click on next. Caleb wants to make five balls of yarn for... So now this part of the lesson engages you, and I really encourage you to pause it, see if you can answer it on your own, and then play it so that you're getting that practice. Um, and you'll continue on waiting, listening, waiting for the yellow kind of highlight, and then Skip you'll click on next. Me. Now let's practice now, with the person. Here's the part I want to talk about. So you can see that we're now on that orange dot. So the orange dot and the red dot um, basically lets you practice and complete exercises and this data, this information is shared with your teacher so that they can support you um, in what you're understanding and what you're maybe struggling with. So once you get to the elaborate, elaborate section, you have to click not on this button, but you need to click on the whistle, okay? And then it takes you into the PMT. Anything that's a PMT is meaning the information of how you're doing is shared with your teacher. So then you will answer, select all the multiplication sentences that are true. So if you answer these, okay, and then you'll click check the answer, all right, because you're kind of practicing here, and then click on next. And then you'll see another question. All right, you'll answer it, check the answer. All right, so the important thing is I see there's two questions. I've answered both of those. If I save and close, that means I can come back to it later. I haven't turned it in yet. If you need support, you can view examples. You can click on step-by-step. -step. You can go to the textbook page. That will be helpful, all right? This is kind of your like, hey, let's see how you're doing, kind of the we do part, right? And then let's turn it in. Super important that you click on turn it in. Now, notice it takes you back to this orange whistle and that elaborate page. So now, do you see how that yellow arrow is highlighted? Now, click try your homework on your own with the personal math trainer. Okay. It includes... So now you see there's a red whistle. That means um, you're not going to get as many supports over on that right-hand frame. So once again, you're going to click on that red whistle takes you into the PMT, and here you'll see it says evaluate, okay? So now you'll go through the questions, okay? You can check your answer, click on next, and you'll continue through, okay? You'll see in this particular lesson, there's actually 10 questions, okay? So then, once you're done, you're going to have to click on turn it in. Okay. Okay. Now I haven't answered all the questions simply for video um, recording sake here. So if I didn't, I would go back and see which questions didn't I answer. I'm going to say I'm finished. Okay. And then it takes you back to that screen. So recognize, oh, I already did the red whistle. Now I'm going to click on this arrow. Thanks for helping me figure out how many eggs are in the nests. See you soon. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and close.
close out of this little window here. And now when you go back to your assignment, you can see that it's completed. It's been turned in, okay, because I was really diligent about turning in using those turn in buttons on both the orange whistle section and the red whistle section, okay? Hope that was helpful.